Today we're going to do a day trip going out the Trans-Canada Highway, crossing into British Columbia into Yoho National Park to see some of the sites over there. After crossing Kicking Horse Pass, our first stop is going to be to stop and see the Spiral Tunnels, which is a railroad tunnel, a set of them, on the Big Hill. Spiral Tunnels were completed in 1909. They were built to reduce the original railroad grade, which was 4.5%, the steepest of any in North America, down to a much safer 2.2% grade. Here we're depicting a train traveling up the grade. The train enters the tunnel, turns around, and comes back out over the top of the tracks that it went on, crosses the highway, and does a similar maneuver on the other side. Here we can see an actual train coming up the grade. The train entered the tunnel right here. Right here is the exit for the tunnel, and you can see the engine of the train over here. So if the train is long enough, and most of them are, you can see that it would actually run right over the top of itself. Continuing on, the train goes under the highway and goes through a second spiral tunnel. Next we're off to Takakaka Falls. I may have murdered that pronunciation, but that's where we're going. To view the falls, you need to do some climbing, and the road is steep and has uh, several sets of switchbacks. And the switchbacks are kind of tight. As you'll see here in the video, it's a little tough with a full-size three-quarter ton truck to make these tight switchback turns. And next time, go way over. What goes up must go down. So the way down was just a little bit more interesting than the way up, even with the two buses. But I, of course, couldn't read it. Oh, we got one, huh? Yep. Got his backup lights on. Now, does it really think it's going to back all the way up? more to go. <laughs> this is the Upper Falls in Johnston King. 